Hey guys, Dance Reviews here, back for another Fear the Walking Dead video. Haven't done a Fear the Walking Dead video since the trailer, so I wanted to do one, and uh, this is a pretty special one. This is Fear the Walking Dead Renewal for Season 5, so, uh, almost a 10, but, uh, yeah, so, Fear the Walking Dead has been renewed for 5th season. Man, that's, that's actually really awesome, though. You know, there's a lot of shows that don't get to 5th season, so, uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Um, Fear the Walking Dead renewed for season 5. I had a feeling it would probably happen around this time, and, uh, it did, so that's really cool. They renewed a couple other shows, too, on AMC for, uh, you know, for other seasons, so they're renewing uh, quite a few other shows. I saw, uh, Better Call Saul. Uh, renewed for uh, season five. I, I don't watch that show. So uh, and a couple other shows as well on AMC I've seen uh, renewed for another season and stuff. So anyway, just just pretty cool stuff But uh, fear the walking dead was one of them and uh, yeah, it got renewed for a fifth season So this is from IGN uh, epic zombie killer actually uh, was the one that told me about this So uh, yeah, shout out to epic zombie killer, but uh, yeah, this is a really really cool stuff man This this is really cool. So um, you guys know I haven't been exactly loving Fear the Walking Dead lately. I, I you guys know if you guys have been watching the videos, season three is probably the best season of Fear the Walking Dead. Season three I can watch over again because that season is just great. Um, and I actually did like par parts of season two quite a bit too. So, um, but uh, man, season four Fear the Walking Dead has actually been my least favorite season. No, no joke. Um, and I, I want to explain why real quick in this video. You know we have time really. So. Um, yeah, even though the show is renewed for a fifth season, oh, um, season four has been really weird, okay? And I just, I just want to say that. Fear the Walking Dead, season three, was awesome. It was awesome, and everybody loved it. Well, okay, okay, a lot of people loved it. And season four is getting the complaints of season one and two again. Why? Because they're literally wiping out the entire cast of Fear the Walking Dead, except for two characters, Strand and Alicia, because Luciano is not even there until the second half of season two. But do you guys notice how crazy this has gone? We're only going into the fifth season, and we only have two remaining characters from the first season. I don't want to don't well, don't want this to be a rant video, but I, I am going to rant a little bit. Um, this is kind of insane. You're going into your fourth, uh, you know, season, second half, and you only have two characters from the first season. Fear the Walking Dead season three was amazing. It was amazing. And I, I have a couple people in this channel that kind of agree with that. And it's true. Fear the Walking Dead season three was awesome. You go into season four, and you mess it up, in my opinion. Even though... And again, I love Morgan. Morgan is actually one of my favorite characters from The Walking Dead after, uh, you know, season eight. Morgan is just such a likable character, and I love seeing Morgan in fear. But it does ruin quite a bit, because... Now, with the Nick death, you could have stopped... Well, you couldn't stop it, because he wanted out. So you kind of have no choice to kill Nick. So you kill Nick. You really could have kept Madison. You, you really did not need to kill Madison at all. You know, um... The entire season is about her death, if you really look at it, because... You go through all these timelines, and they're in, in the current timeline. Alicia is kind of sad about it, and you're wondering what are they all sad about? Why are they so vicious and stuff like that? And you have to kind of watch the first half of the season to understand why. And it's because Madison dies, and the stadium, and the vultures, and all that. Um, so it's pretty much Madison's, you know, season still. You know, it's it's Madison's show until the end. But for season four, it's like it's like Morgan, Althea, and John took the show from our main characters. And again, I don't want to sound like you know I, I I'm not liking the show because I I kind of am. I like John. I like Althea. I like Morgan. They're actually some of the best characters in Fear. I'll be honest. Um, and it's not that. That's not the problem. The problem is is that they're literally ignoring those three seasons of Fear. Where's Daniel? Where's Walker? Where on earth is uh, J um, Proctor John? Not John, but Proctor John. Um, you know, literally, they are ignoring those old characters that just disappeared. They're ignoring what happened after the dam. They're literally just... They end the season with Madison on her own, and you start the season... And it's a follow-up from the season 8 finale with Morgan. And it's like, okay, in the second episode, we'll probably see what happened after the dam. No. And, and we still, we probably won't see that. And it's because they're not the leads. It, like, seriously, if you think about it, 
If Madison and the others were the leads in season four, we would have seen the damn stuff. We would have. They're not the leads anymore. And, and that's, that's really unfortunate because, you know, because of that, because of Morgan and the others taking over the show, we can't see what happened after the damn because they're not the leads anymore. Madison and the others, they're not the leads anymore. Morgan has taken over the show and it's this big thing. And again, I absolutely love Morgan. But look at how messy the show is now. You know, really, it it is. It, it, it's 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 kind of embarrassing. It is because um, I want I want to support the show as much as I can. And I know you guys are probably thinking, oh man, this yeah, you know, you know, like you know, this is some crazy things you're saying about fear. Yes, but honestly, look at look at the the third season and how great that season was. And you go into this, and your main characters aren't your main characters, and so you don't get to see what happened after the dam. You don't get to find out what happened to Daniel or some of the other characters that just disappeared in the dust. You know, like, really. And, you know, it's just... Now, you're at a point where they killed Madison, they killed Nick. Now, Nick, like I said, you have no choice. He wanted to leave. But you don't need to kill Madison. Keep her the lead. Just... Seriously, what's so difficult about that, you know? Because now, all I'm hearing about fear is that, oh, they should have kept going the route they were going from season three. And it's true. It's true. Season three was probably the best season we'll ever get of fear. I'm sorry, until, until you know, it's proven otherwise. Because now, it's like those first three seasons almost mean nothing. Because now in season four, almost every character is new. Like, almost every, every main character in fear is the new characters that just showed up this season, except for Alicia, Strand, and Luciana. That is not good. That's really not good. So even though I'm happy the show is getting a fifth season, I'm, I'm kind of frustrated with how, how the show is going right now. But all aside, all that aside, I am happy for a fifth season of Fear, and I will watch it, I will review it, and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, so... I want to kind of end this video on a better note. I just want to say this, this is a very crazy, um, you know, a season for fear because the show is changing, not in the way I wanted it to, but you know, anyway, you guys write your comments below. Do you, do you view it in my way where season three was the best and season four, they kind of messed it up where they killed all the main characters and your new characters like Morgan, John and Althea are your leads. You know, that's, oh man, when they weren't even in the season prior, you know, like really. That's pretty crazy. Like that that would be like in season season 4 of like The Walking Dead. If let, let's say like okay, yeah. Uh, I want to compare this to season 3, okay? Walking Dead season 3, the governor comes in. Would you imagine if in season 3 of The Walking Dead, the governor all of a sudden you spend first two seasons with Rick and the others, season 3 comes in and the governor's your new lead and apparently now Rick is the bad is the bad guy and the governor's your new lead. That's pretty much what this is. Um, except it's not, you know, bad guy versus, you know, good guy, but I'm just trying to compare it to the best thing I can, but man, you know, that's, that's, you know, you really have to look at it. It, it is, it is kind of crazy how this has gone, but anyway, guys, very happy about the show getting a fifth season. Either way, even a, a, aside from all this stuff, thank you guys for watching this video. You guys can click right here to check out my uh, video from yesterday, and you can click right here to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.